To create the base, we basically need to look at this side here and we need to create the base so that it holds up our system and gives it a good platform so that it actually has stability while somebody's actually turning the crank handle. So basically we can press create sketch here and I'm going to create mine uh, on the bottom of one of these. So you can see there, I'm going to choose that little one there in order to draw the bottom of my base. Now I'm going to, before I start, I'm going to pre press P to project. And I'm going to project this point here. Whoops, I need to be as close as possible. That's not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to press X to get rid of that one. And I'm going to press that corner there, that corner there. I'm going to find the bottom corner here, there, and there. Once I've got those projected uh, points, I can use those as my reference points in order to get my measurements how I want them. So basically, I'm going to use the rectangle tool now. You don't need to use a rectangle tool, but I'm going to use a rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw a rectangle right around uh, this whole section here. I'm going to use some measurements now, D for dimension. And from this position here to this line here, um, I'm going to make it 40. It's actually going to be quite a wide one. And from this one here to this one here, I'm also going to make it 40. Um, let's just look at this one here to this one here. I'm going to make it a bit closer, maybe 15. And from this one here to this one here, also 15. So you can see I've got this big rectangle that's going around. Maybe let's just uh, double click on this, make that 35. That looks a little bit nicer. So now I've got that, I'm going to go finish sketch. Uh, and you'll see that I've got this part on the bottom. I need to now hit press pull. Now you notice I haven't actually got that little rectangle there selected. This doesn't matter because I'm not going to actually have that in the final thing anyway. You notice it's got to go up. So it's going to go up minus main material. And I'm going to do a new body. So that new body is going to be my base. You'll see there that it's actually sticking out a long way on that side and this side. So it's not a totally even thing, um, but it's going to look even from the top. Uh, maybe you might want to use this rectangle as your reference instead of the edge of the gears. That's totally up to you. I'm going to press on OK now, uh, and you'll see now that I've got my base. Uh, I need to label my base so that it's labeled in my bodies. And you'll notice that if I turn off my upright, there's one little hole there. All of those little holes are going to be there soon, uh, but we need to worry about uh, creating something called a brace uh, in order to hold this up.